Markets hitting record highs as investors keep showing their optimism on this season's company earnings, as well as the possible of tax reform coming this year. You know, we just heard earlier from Donald Trump and from Mitch McConnell, and they kind of came out in a kumbaya moment, indicated they are willing to work together because it is necessary. We need tax reform. So is the Dow going to hit the big two, three, could it happen this week? Joining me right now, Vision for Vice uh, President uh, Heather Zumaraga. Did I get your title that right there? What is, what's, tell us the name of your company. Vision Four. Thanks, Trish. Thank yes, you. you did. Thank <laughs> you. All right. <clears throat> well, what do you, I mean, we are what? Just a, within striking distance. I mean, it could even happen today if you think about it. When I, is it going to happen? Bring my, I didn't bring my <laughs> baseball cap, though, Dow 23,000. So I hope it doesn't happen today, but perhaps it will. We still have an hour uh, mm -hmm. and change before the close. And look, the markets are still attracting positive <laughs> flows. All eyes are not just on tax reform, Trish, but also on corporate earnings. Uh, valuations are becoming somewhat lofty right now, but we'll get a good gauge of what corporate earnings will be this week as we have many sectors participating, not just uh, the banks, which were primarily reported last mm -hmm. week. You heard uh, Donald Trump there go after the health insurers, and he pointed out that under the Obama administration, actually, the health insurers did great. I mean, there's one that was up 650 percent. We were showing the viewer earlier, uh, but they've struggled in recent days because the president is calling them out and saying, look, we're not going to have any more of these federal subsidies for these mm -hmm. insurers. What's your thought on that right now? Should investors be very careful around the sector? You should, and a good gauge is the IBB, the ET, it's the ETF tracking the NASDAQ biotech index. Um, that's a good gauge of tracking uh, this war on drug prices. But he's not alone. As we know, uh, Hillary Clinton also had tweets against uh, high drug prices. So I think he will get support from both sides of the aisle on bringing down drug prices. And any reaction in that sector, I think, will be short-lived. Um, it might be a knee-jerk reaction. Mm -hmm. And insurers in general? Yeah, insurers in general have had a tremendous run. Healthcare is one of the best performing sectors in the past two years, um, and and I, I I don't see that stopping uh, anytime soon. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Not a, even though people were backing off it in the last couple of days, you you think that that's going to continue? I still think healthcare is very strong unless we see uh, complete gridlock in Washington and in, in passing something or not passing some type of health care legislation. Um, I, I, I just I just think that's still a very strong sector. What, can I ask you this, Heather? Day. Once we get to 23K, let's let's yes. you know call, say it happens this week. What happens then? Well, you hope what Warren Buffett's saying, Dow 100,000, right, 100 years from now. So we all may be dead by then. But uh, if the markets pull back a little bit before the end of the year, a lot of investors are waiting with a lot of cash on the sidelines to buy any dip. So I think mm -hmm. the markets will continue higher after we get some sort of a pullback. Right. Well, Heather, uh, we hope it happens soon. Thank you so much. It's you got good it, to see you.